Good day, MFM. Welcome. Let's talk a little bit about linear number patterns. First thing that comes to mind, first constant difference. Notice how these numbers become small, smaller with each passing term. So that already is a hint. That indicates that we are subtracting. And by inspection, it's quite clear that we are subtracting minus 5. Minus 5. So it means it continues. So this should be negative 7. And then the next term is negative 12. So the first question is exactly that. Write down the next two terms of the pattern. So that is, we've worked that out already. The second question, determine the nth term of the pattern. In other words, they want us to find Tn. To answer this question, we should know the general formula for any linear pattern. And the general formula for any linear pattern is Tn is equals to Dn plus C where d is the first constant difference, tn is the term, and n is the position of the term. So I've rewritten the numeric pattern, where n represents the position of the term, and tn represents the term itself. So 8 would be at position 1, 3 would be at position 2, and so forth. And these actually form pairs. So now it becomes easy to work out the formula or to find Tn because we have the, the first constant difference. It is minus 5. So we can just substitute minus 5. Um, we can use any, any pair. When n is 1, the term is 8. So we can substitute 1 here and the term is 8. So now it's possible to find C. Therefore, h should be equals to negative 5 plus c, so it implies that c should be equals to 13. So now we can find the, the, the nth term. It means tn is equals to negative 5 n plus 13. So here we can write negative 5 n plus 13. So let's have a look at the third question. It says calculate the 30th term of the pattern. So it's just a matter of substituting n with 30. So we can say tn. tn is equals to minus 5 times 30 plus 13. And this should give us negative 137. So it means that the 30th term T30 is equals to negative 137. So the last question. Which term of the pattern is equals to negative 492? So now they've given us the, the term itself and they just ask for the position of that term. So we apply the general formula, Tn, I mean, we, we apply the formula for this pattern, Tn is equals to minus 5n plus 13. So now they give us Tn, which is negative 492, and they just want us to find the position for this term. Minus 505 five is equals to minus 5n. We divide both sides by negative 5. It implies that n, therefore n should be equals to 101. So this is at position 101. 
So in the number pattern, 101, position 101 is the term, is the term, minus 492. Thank you so, so much for watching.